So here we are, day three of our Royal Caribbean trip, and we're in the port of Hamburg, Germany. It's a bit of a naff day weather-wise yesterday, but things definitely seem to improve today. So let's get out there, explore, and see what Hamburg has to offer. Here we go. So I've decided to switch into the Burghouse t-shirt, so they might think I'm a local. Hey, it's a good idea. And just before we get off the boat, we're going to grab a wonderful coffee, which you get from this place over here. And it's called the Cafe Promenade Espresso. So I'll show you one, two, three. There it is. Very popular. So we grab a coffee, then we're gonna hit the town. Cheers. Cheers. So just to explain why I'm starting this video on day three is there's loads and loads of videos about the independence of the seas out there. Lots and lots to see and do. There's no point boring our time together with about the boat, because there are people already talking about the boat. Let's talk about the ports and the destinations. So today we're at Hamburg. We're also visiting Oslo and then we're going to finish off in Bruges. So let's finish these off and hit Hamburg. Here we go. Here we go. So this is a weird building and we've been told not to film in here because it's obviously customs. But it's all made out of containers. How cool is that? Ship containers. Whoops. So once you arrive here you can join the queue and get yourself a little map guide to Hamburg. There's another one outside as well. Obviously most travellers nowadays have interactive maps on their phone, Google Maps, etc. But just how cool is this building? All the old shipping containers. It's really cool. Now I know I said I wouldn't talk about the boat but really it's so beautiful isn't it? It is an impressive bit of kit. So this is the front and you can obviously walk from your ship, regardless of which cruise line you come in. And we're going to walk into Hamburg. Weather's really nice, it's going to be a real good day. So we thought we'd check out this anchor. Uh, it's the Anchor Life by Hint Kunz. In memorial of those who their legends in Hint Kunz sent standard for giving to homeless and less fortunate. Solidarity amongst our citizens. The symbol of solidarity against our citizens. Hey, eh? well done. So it's always good to use a map and take people's advice. But it's nice also to wonder if you have spare time and look at the architecture of this building. <laughs> it's so cool. So quick Berlin fact. There is over more than these bicycles in Berlin. I don't know that. There's some more over there. So once you come off your cruise line, there's our boat there. You further row around and then you're going to get to some bus stops. You can catch all the local buses from here. They do all the tour buses as well from here. So rather than paying big bucks for your cruise provider, they do tours, class providers. You just go on there, you can pay on the actual bus. And obviously it'll bring you completely back around here you can easily get back onto your ship and save yourself some money. So if you carry on just walking straight from the cruise line, you're going to go past some lovely old warehouse buildings where they used to obviously export stuff. Then you're going to come across lots of these cool canals. It's really beautiful. I'd love to know more about the history about these buildings. Now they've all been converted now into like trendy offices and lovely accommodation. But it's really, really nice. So once you get to the end of here, you take a left or a right and you'll have all the shops to enjoy and have a wonderful time.
So you've done your shopping, you've tried some local food. So where should we go next? One place I can highly recommend is this place. Check out this. So this is St. Nicholas's Church. Uh, so we're gonna have a look in. It looks amazing from the outside. You can take some really good pictures. It's really, really nice. It's so, oh, it's beautiful. Let's have a look inside. Absolutely gorgeous place. Highly, highly recommended. And I think you can get lift to the roof as well. Fantastic. Yeah, you can. Five euros. Set you all the way up. You can see all the different bells. All the bells and whistles. Well, it's not whistles, but you know what I As you start to walk around and enjoy this beautiful place, Hamburg, you start to see the strong northern European city landscape. There's lots of bicycles, there's lots of friendly shops, the people are nice, there's buses, there's canals, it's an extremely lovely place to come and visit. I highly recommend it if you get a chance to stop off either on a cruise or even just fancy a holiday to Hamburg. It's a great place to come and visit, lots of history, lots of things to do and it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So when visiting Hamburg, don't be afraid to come off the beaten track. It's a safe place and there's lots of lovely architecture to see. If you're into taking photos, then it's a wonderful city. This area now I'm going to show you is just a connecting walkway, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Get out there, explore, see what you can see. So out and about, you're going to see lovely park areas as well. There's lots of lovely open spaces in Hamburg where you can just get around, sit back, relax. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine it has to offer. We're loving this place. See? Told you my fact was true. There's a lot of bicycles here. <music> Hamburg's also a great place to bring your kids. There's lots of lovely open areas you've seen there. And there's lovely play areas as well so you can get out there. And the kids can play and enjoy themselves whilst over in here in Hamburg.
love the over railway. Reminds me of something you'll see back in America. I'd be intrigued to know how old it is. It's cool. So this is the dock. Lots of nice boats and ships to see. Places to sit, relax. It's beautiful. It's really cool. Lovely. So Hamburg port is meant to be the busiest port in Northern Europe. And I can honestly believe that. There just appears to be so many ships here. It's unbelievable. Most of the times when you come in from one of these cruises, your boat kind of like stands out here. We just blended right in. And there's this lovely big thing in the building here. There's a boat in dry dock. I'm not quite sure what it is. So we'll look into that as well. Ooh, this is really good. So overall, we've had a fantastic time here in Hamburg, Germany. The people have been fantastic. The place has been fantastic. The weather's been fantastic. And it's been, well, there we go. Fantastic is the word. So where's next? So now we're off to Oslo, Norway. So let's go. You want to trust me anymore? Coming round, I'll bring my friend up here. Coming round, let's stop to pretend that we don't know this is really a bad end. So today we're here in Oslo, Norway. Now, I don't normally do much on the boat itself. I want to try and keep it all in port per se, but it's just amazing. Let me show you how the view is. It's just a kind of beautiful place. I've never been anywhere quite like this. As you come in through the fjords of Oslo especially, it's just scenery heaven. Beautiful green, beautiful water, and it's all super still and so, so nice. I'm really excited about getting out, so let's go to town. So, Oslo, Norway, here we are on the ground. We're off the boat now. Boat sits really high here, it looks massive. And what can I say so far? It's dead nice, there's a shop actually, you walk out, and uh, things are expensive here. But they do offer you tax refund if you're a holiday maker. So you're gonna get about 10% back, so that's pretty good. Nice selection of stuff though. Everyone seems really nice, polite. The place seems very calm. Really calm. Even the air and atmosphere feels calm. Well, let's get out and explore. And I'm looking forward to this one quite a bit actually. Here we go. So leaving the dock, there's some nice ships on the right hand side, now have a little information, so we've been to boats, that's nice, it's been so peaceful and quiet so far, I've not heard one car horn, or any kind of shouting, or anything, I can almost whisper, while I was doing my videos here, it's dead peaceful, except there. So one thing they do have here is electric scooters, 
and you can go to these little areas and they'll hire a scooter and then you have a self-guided tour now we don't advise that we give on this you have to know how to ride a scooter which doesn't sound hard but these modern scooters nowadays go quite fast and before you know it you'll be flying under a tram or a bus or whatever else is going on but they do look really cool so that's one way of getting around the city so you come off the boat over there and now you're in the main drag go into your local shops get some food get some currency changed you can get anything it's beautiful there's the trams I was talking about this place is so nice so remember in the old days when you used to go on holiday and you saw stuff you thought what the hell is this well here we go here's a fine example of that want to get around well you could get on board this little thing I have no idea what that is I guess I don't even know what that is it looks like a taxi or something doesn't it I can't see a driver what the hell is that I can't see a driver we you load on the on the right hand side and it's going to take you around to wherever it goes that's cool isn't it it'd be cool if anybody was but I don't know what it is so after making some inquiries we've worked out it's a computerised kind of localised bus taxi service has scanners and sensors all around it and it roughly knows where it's going to go there is a man inside actually just in case it goes belly up and it tells you about where you're going to go on your tour but the kind of thing set pro band with a, with a route or route as you can see there and off you go this is <laughs> This is cool. Oh, that was clever. Didn't run the dog over. All right, off it goes. I thought it was going to run a dog over. Also, the uh, bus stop talks. That's your kind of thing. Oh, it's clever. Oh, it's got four wheel steer. Oh, you're doing a free point turn? Oh no, it's just not running somebody over. He's going to come round. I know this is a travel guy that's turned into a technology show. We're in the way! Get out of the way! Should get some speed up now. Could do an electric horn, couldn't it? So once it starts going, it's got a little bit of speed, but a lot of people in the way. Very clever. Anyway, back to Oslo. So you've not decided to take the automated car or hire a scooter and you got tired. Well, luckily, here in Oslo they have these real trendy, oh, quite describe them. How do you describe them? Got to judge. Benches. You can sit back and relax. Take five, take ten, you're on holiday. Enjoy yourself. So one thing I will add about the scooters, they're everywhere and you have to be conscious because they just appear really fast and then try and kill you. But in a world of electronic cars, electronic scooters, there's actually something pretty cool here. Oh yes. So as you explore further in, you realise there's a real 
beauty of the place. And once you get past all the shops, there's lovely greenery areas. They have some re really nice seating. You can sit back. There's lots of pop-up shops. You can drag a coffee, a ice cream, all from around here and, and enjoy what's quite frankly extremely beautiful. This is a very, very nice place to visit. So once you finish out in your scooter and you want to explore the town, it's easy to walk around. Logistics wise, you can easily go around. That's a bit of like a grid assembly, really. There's maps which are free to use. Obviously, you can use Google Maps and that kind of stuff nowadays. You'll find it quite pleasant to walk around and a real enjoyable experience. It's busy, but there's no kind of like London hustle or bustle. Everyone's dead nice. I'd have to say there's definitely some very beautiful architecture out and about. It's a lovely, lovely city. Very nice. Look, see, there's a scooter guy. Before you know it, they're just like. <laughs> so you have to be really, really careful. Oh! Everything's really quiet. You do have to be so careful about how to get across the road. So, if you are into bikes, like I'm into push bikes, I've never seen anything quite like this. So this is a public work stand where you can come along and fix your bicycle. And as you'll see attached here is variable objects, screwdriver, there's a pump there to pump up your tyres, a tyre wrench, you know the tools anyway. And that's available. And it's weird because I've been to loads of countries which are bike friendly and I've never seen anything like that. That is pretty cool. And there we go. So that was our time in Oslo, Norway. It's been really, really nice. Uh, you could probably done with more time to explore everything that is to offer here. It's a very advanced country and it's it's just really, really nice. I think you'll enjoy it. It's different than anywhere I've ever been. It's kind of like laid back yet smart. How's that mean? So that's the second day we've had on London. And tomorrow, well not tomorrow, tomorrow for you guys, or in two seconds, it will be Zeebrugge in Brussels, Belgium even. Have they moved it? Zeebrugge, what's it called? Zeebrugge. So it will be Zeebrugge in... <laughs> Manchester. Big pipe there. It will be Zeebrugge. Or Zeebrugge, depending on where you come from. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> It will be Zabruga in. Oh, it will be Zabruga. <laughs> so, next, off to Belgium. So, here we are today in. My god, how sunny is it? It's unbelievable. Ah. So today here we are in Zeebrugge, Belgium. So the ship's just arrived and we're going to get off and have a look round. Now, when you get to Zeebrugge, you normally end up having to get a transfer from your cruise line of boat to the actual end of the cruise, the, the, the port terminal. We'll have a look at that. So anyway, here we go. Welcome to Belgium.
would have to say that trip takes about uh, 60 seconds. That's about it. You can really walk it. I don't know why they don't let you walk it. I suppose it's health and safety, isn't crazy like that? And brings you into the port terminal, and here we are. So it's that massive place, but as you can see there's free Wi-Fi, in fact, massive would be completely not the word I would use at all, it's very small, seems to be lots of information though, you get leaflets and labels here, and that brings you out of the port building, just there, and then you decide what you're going to do, so let's see what there is to do. So as you leave the terminal, you take a left, and this kind of brings you into the booger. Now I'm not terribly sure what there is to see and do here, and this is obviously the whole objective of making this particular series of videos, so people can see what there is and what there isn't to do. Now we're not going on any fancy excursions as you've worked out, nor are we trying to spend loads of money on trips, we're just trying to see what the average cruiser can do for free charge at any of these ports which we turned up and the first two have been really good now some of the reviews of this particular port is there's not much to do and just walking out of the port building it would appear there's not much to do but let's uh let's hide any preconceptions we have and see what we can actually find out to do. So straight out the bat, you can see a torpedo, says in Yang, and the next says a nice big red ship. Oh, whoa. It's a submarine. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you've ever been on a submarine, they're really, really cool. Oh, we've got to go and check this out. Submarine. Let's have a look how much that is. I love submarines. But if you don't like submarines, there's a building here, there's docks, antiques and decorations, and below there's PJs, which will sell you confectionery, cigarettes, and other souvenir based stuff. Well, let's check out this. That's the West Hinder in gang. Let's go and check it out. So there's leaflets in a little shop just as you walk in. The price is 13 euros 50 for an adult and 9 euros 50 for a child. It could be a good experience but expensive in my eyes. But it's cool for a nice picture. If you've never seen a submarine, check it out, that's for sure. So we've walked a bit further along now and we've got to PJ's Chocolate Factory. It's a very quiet kind of place to be actually. Reminds me of being in Holland, that kind of area. No massively high buildings, very peaceful, very still. It's nice, nice to walk around so far. Still a bit limited on things to do right near the port without having to pay for an excursion. But nevertheless, let's carry on walking, see what else we can find out. But first of all, a quick stop at the old chocolate factory, eh? There's a lot of chocolate here. And if you like chocolate, it's not the best place to come because you're gonna eat everything. So, some usual ones. Chocolate pizza. It's a given, we've seen that one before. Stranger ones you may not have seen is a, these are really weird. Chocolate 
Chocolate cog. A chocolate watch. Oh, actually, I know what these are. I don't, I don't, what is that? These might be molds, actually. They are molds. You can make a chocolate screwdriver. Are they molds? They are molds. I don't even, I don't, I don't, I don't, I couldn't even tell you that's chocolate. That is chocolate. That's chocolate. Chocolate. Get a chocolate nut. If it was a mould, it's chocolate nuts. Chocolate nuts? That's... Nuts. Crazy. No, no, no. Well, that's possibly the most chocolate I've ever seen in the entire world. Oh! Three samples. Mmm. Mmm. So, leaving the chocolate factory, carrying a right down the main road from the cruise terminal, you will come across where you can get the tram. You have to watch out for the cycles here as well. Sounds a bit like Amsterdam. Like this holiday's been mainly dodging people on bicycles and scooters. So you can get a tram there. I'm not sure of the price. I'll try and find out and leave in the comments below. The tram will take you to various places, but most people will be going to Blanketburg, which is kind of the next manger kind of, I don't know if it's a town or a city, but place to go and visit whilst on this particular holiday. So further down the street, there's a spa shop or convenience store or mini supermarket. Now this may be of interest to certain people and not other people, but they sell alcohol here. Lots of alcohol. Now on certain cruise liners, you can bring your own alcohol on board. If you don't have a drink package or you want to purchase their drinks, there's wine there starting at four euros, which is a lot cheaper than buying on board. So that's something to bear in mind. They also sell soft drinks as well. That's just down the road. So if you do want to stock up, this is probably the place to go in this port. So we've carried on further down the road now. You can still see a ship actually, or well, one of the ships that's currently in dock. It's just been a straight ride we've taken. We've obviously had the spa shop which is handy if you want to top up on sweets, crisps, alcohol, anything you kind of need. You've seen the tram track there, how you get the tram into the next places. As the road seems to curve on, there doesn't appear to be a great deal to do here. Uh, there is some shops there, cafes etc, little kind of park area, it's quite nice. But we're going to carry on further on and see how we get on. Let's see what else we will find to do and see in Zebruge. Just in case it comes over as being slightly boring, by the way, it is actually really nice. The people are very friendly. A little bit louder where you are next to the main road here, but generally it's quite quiet and kind of cool, actually. That's all Belgian town, liking it. So we've continued further down the road now. And I will just pre-warn you what I said before about the bicycles. It would appear that anybody with two wheels can use this track as there's been motorcycles flying down here. All sorts of stuff. There you go, as you can see. See? Where did he come from? I'd literally just showed you that shot. Then this guy appeared. Anyway, moving on. So if we come all the way down there, and it would appear there's nothing whatsoever to do. But there's a nice, interesting looking tower there. And I'm going to try and see what the tower is. Well, that's worth any of this whole video we've made all this morning. The good thing is the weather's been really nice. So I said that is one good thing. And this junction looks interesting. I'm not quite sure how it works. It's obviously a, a bridge also that separates. Uh, yeah, it's a bridge also that separates. I'll show you this bridge. This is kind of, this is as interesting as it gets, guys, to just like really enjoy it. <laughs> a bridge. So, here is the said bridge. Why is it an interesting bridge? I'll tell you why. Because look, this is where the tram comes along. This is the tram you can catch that takes you to Bruges. So the big ferry container ports and the 
the vans and stuff come to drop off all the goods and stuff. This bridge obviously splits at the top here. I don't know which way it folds or goes out, which then allows all the ships and containers a twister. So it rotates. Oh yeah, it rotates onto there. So the ships can come and pass through the lock, and there's another one on the opposite side as well. You see, it was worth all that walk down here to see an interesting rotating bridge. Look, where's he gonna go? They stayed on the road, but literally, there's been like anything, <laughs> anything flying down this little path here at like the fastest speed you've ever seen in your entire life. Still, onto the tower. Let's see what the tower's got to hold. So we're here at the tower. It's a very nice tower. Do you viewers want to take a guess as to what said tower is? Because I can honestly tell you I have no idea. I don't even know if I should even be here where I am. It just looks interesting compared to, well, the nothing else that I have of here. There's a bird then, they got hit by a bird. So, there's a tower. Oh, hang on, there might be a sign here. Oh, there's a sign. What's the sign say? I don't think it's anything exciting. It says that. And to conclude our wonderful, exciting tower trip, it's no idea still what it is. It's obviously services or something, isn't it? Makes quite a nice pretty picture though. So the excitement of the tower is fortunately ran out. So we've literally come out of the port, took a right and walked down that same road and we came to pretty much nothing. The shop was handy, what that kind of stuff. The tower of mystery, which we still don't know what the tower does. Comment below if you know what the tower does. Uh, we made a nice picture, but I think coming this way has been the end of what you can achieve. So we've been walking now for about about an hour. So it gives you kind of the distance we've travelled there. Maybe 45 minutes or something, slightly less. So we're going to cross over the opposite side of the road now, try and drop a street back, and see if there's anything else that Zebrugs has to offer you. So far, my verdict would be you really want to do your homework here and there is a reason why I didn't do my homework for any of these places we've been to is to show you what it's like if you just got off and you didn't know exactly where you're going or what you're doing and if it's worth getting off and if you've not enjoyed this that shows me you need to start doing your research and see what there is to do because these have all been lovely places and I'm pretty sure there is something cool to do here but we've just literally been trying to do it just if you're walking off the boat and see what goes on but it has been nice and I've enjoyed it so far. And we've still got the second part of the road to come. And we're at the Mystery Tower. Hey, what are we whinging about? It's been great. So one thing I haven't come across so far is a souvenir shop, but never fear, there is a carry for, of which there is lots of stuff to purchase. You get yourself some permanent markers for the kids. Ooh, artistic. How about a paintbrush here? Got a paint. Feeling sore. <laughs> so, Karen Ford Supermarket is also just down the road. Once again, for any of your bits you need, they're actually a really good place to pick up local spirits and wines. I don't mean from the boat, I mean for taking home for people. The price is more affordable than some of the touristy spots, and the quality goods is also superb as well. Check it out. So, we're just heading back now. Uh, where I tried to find out the prices for the trams, which is opposite the spa shop. And you can actually buy your tickets from the spa shop. And it's seven euros return, as you can see there. And it's, it has a little bit of information about the, the pass you buy, and which one you need to get. Either the bus or the tram, and it looks like it's seven pound for your day pass, which obviously will return you as well, but try and double check the times. We've not seen a great deal of trams come past, so you might want to double check that. Seven euros though, really affordable. So just to give you a bit of point of context, uh, that's your ship. You're going to take a right, walk all the way down here to the spa. 
<laughs> I'm sure there's a sign somewhere. Oh, there's a spa sign there. So to the spa shop, get a ticket in the spa shop, cross the road, and that's the tram. So we've done the left side, we've done the right side, we've had a good look round, and it's been an enjoyable day. It's not as hustle as bustle as you may expect. Nova Eve, you recommend if you do want to go somewhere, this is the place to go. Told you, you've got to be careful with everywhere. So we've been up the road, we've seen the shops, we've now given you the tram information. We can recommend, or I recommend, if you want to do something more than just a bit of a relaxing walk around, well, it's pretty much a very beautiful place, to be told. You want to get into Bruges or the other localised towns, then we would recommend the tram system. In hindsight now, as we head back, we've worked out it wasn't exactly the hardest thing to do. It's not quite easy. So he's literally out from the docks there. You can show you. Straight down the road. And then you're gonna get down there to the spa. Into the spa, get your tickets. There's a stop just right outside the spa and away you go. So we're gonna head back now and we're gonna stop off at the newly built ABC building. Well, pretty new, I have to guess. Have a final look in that shop, and I'll give you my final verdicts of how my day has been in the beautiful Belgium. So, just before we go back in to the cruise terminal, we have just realised if you do want to do the submarine, there is a bit of a test you have to do beforehand, and you have to test your suppleness. Because the submarine, you have to go through four manholes the same diameter. So if you can't get through this, then you won't be able to go through the submarine. So, give it a try. So, first up, representing the OAPs, we have my travel partner, Grandad George, rocking the 74 year olds. And he's through. And he's stuck. He may have to live on the submarine <laughs> for the rest of his life. You're going to get through. No, he's now officially stuck on the stuck on the submarine officially. Never to be seen again. <laughs> Is that a no? Oh uh, I haven't tried myself yet. So I'll have a go now, see how I get on. Oh hang on. He's out, he's out. Oh. Well done. Good job we're on a submarine. <laughs> Crawling through a submarine, part right, two. Now it's my go. I don't know if I'm going to go for the traditional straight through barrel roll. <laughs> Reverse part. Oh no, that doesn't work. Is he going to do it? <laughs> Put one leg through first. Now twist yourself around and pull your other leg through. <laughs> Way well done. So we've just been around the shop in the terminal. The prices are it's Bruges is quite an expensive place, but it's ideal for you know your magnets and those kind of associated toys. Also, I did also learn this little flyer here. If he was going to go to Bruges via an official taxi, which you can get from right outside, you are looking at 55 euros each way. So that's 55 euros each way, and doesn't include a tip. So there's another option of how you want to get into Bruges if you decide to get into Bruges.
Well, here we are back on board. Beautiful weather today here in Belgium. So, what did I think of Zibuka? Well, it was a nice place. I think to some other people, they were in different directions and they got different results. But I wanted to just see what it was like as you just get off the boat and try to just take it as you can go on your own and see how you get on. But if you enjoy walking around and enjoying the easiness of just casual strolling, some shops to step into, and I don't recommend doing a trip, just get off and have a little bit of a walk. We'll enjoy it, that's for sure. And if the weather's like today, then it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And we're back. So, there we go, we're back. Hope you've enjoyed looking at those three different cities in three different countries. I didn't want to go on about the boat, I didn't want to go about excursions, I didn't want to go about anything like that. What I wanted to know is if you could simply get off the boat and find something fun and interesting to do in those three ports of calls. And as you've seen by the video, yes. All three have been really nice. My favourite would have been, they were all different. Hamburg was nice, it wasn't what I expected. It was more like a like a seaside resort almost. That was really nice. Oslo, well that was nice also. It was a beautiful blend of modern technology with also very lots of history. It was extremely nice. And then Zeebrugge, well that was something completely different altogether there. So quiet, but it was nice after those two different ports. It was either nice to spend a day on the boat or go for a little walk around. If you've been to Bruges before, it's a lovely place, but you can't really go over and over and again. You don't seem to find new places. You've got Blankenberg nearby and some other local towns. But you just want to get off the boat, stretch your legs. It's peaceful, it's nice. You can get some chocolate, you can see the submarine. You'll enjoy it. Anyway, thank you for coming on my trip with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.